Chris Gray here, and today I'm going to be performing magic. Okay, maybe I won't be doing magic, but the Magic Trackpad 2 may be able to do magic. I don't know. I'm going to be unboxing and comparing this to my original um, Apple Magic Trackpad. I've never particularly liked the Apple um, mice, so I've always gone with the Magic Trackpads. Um, now, this, this Magic Trackpad has been phenomenal, except for the fact that whenever the battery dies, which is a lot in my case, I have to pull the batteries out. Um, this particular unit here, the uh, lithium-ion battery, is built in. Um, it's also a little bit wider, a little bit bigger, um, a little bit different material, and it has forced touch. So I'm really excited to unbox this um, and see how well it compares. So as we slide it open, typical Apple-esque type of boxing, nice and tight box. I love the presentation that Apple um, uses when it comes to packaging their products. Seems like they put a lot of thought and effort into it, which may seem a little ridiculous, but I think it's worth it. All right, here's the front of the box. It just slides off. All right, now here is the actual mouse pad. Now, the difference between this mouse pad and the old one, which I'll compare in just a moment, um, you can already tell that it's white on the top not the typical aluminum color. Okay, we take that off and it's got some protective plastic on it. Okay, very cool. And it's got the Apple logo on the back with the little feet. All right, very cool. We have the USB to lightning cable for charging. This way you can charge it either um, in a uh, USB port on your Mac or you can plug it in to a power supply using a adapter. And it looks like it is a typical length lightning cable like you would get with an iPhone. It's about one meter or three feet. And it looks like we have a little instruction manual here. All right, let's take the protective paper off. All right, so with the protective paper off, you can see this is the bottom of the mouse. You can see the four um, little rubber or silicone feet on the back here, you'll have a lightning uh, port so we can charge it and there is an on off switch. All right, so here are the two different mouse pads. You have the Magic Trackpad 2 and you have the original Magic Trackpad. Now, obviously you can see that the one is more aluminum, has that aluminum silver look to it. And the other one has that white, that glass uh, finish we were talking about just a minute ago. The new Magic Mouse Pad is wider than the old one. And it looks like it's about an inch and a half, maybe maybe two inches wider. The old mouse pad is a little bit longer, and the new mouse pad also sits lower. It's more flush. It has a slight a slight arc, but it's not really it's not really that much compared to the old one, which is quite a bit uh, of a difference. And that's mostly because you have the battery batteries going in that tube right there. With the new mouse pad, it is. Um, lithium-ion charge. It has a lithium-ion built-in battery, so you just charge it right there. The old mouse, um, the old Magic Trackpad, when you press on it, it actually moves because there is like a switch inside of it. So the feet down here, you'll, you'll actually get a, a, uh, a click because there's actually a, a actual movement taking place. Where on the new Magic Trackpad, you don't have that because it is using force touch and there are no moving parts. All right, so here is the system preferences uh, window in regards to setting up your trackpad. And because I'm, I'm hooked up with the new trackpad, you can actually see down here in this video image, it shows the new trackpad. When I had the old one hooked up, it showed the old one. But over here, you can see you still have the same functionality in terms of uh, scrolling and zooming. You have the different multi-touch gestures. So you have all the different gestures, just like before. But what they've added that's really awesome is the force touch. Now, I cannot describe to you how awesome it feels to press on this new trackpad. And even though it has no moving parts, it has haptic feedback, or I think Apple calls it their taptic feedback. And it makes it feel like the actual pad is really moving. It isn't moving, but it feels that way. It's really, really trippy. When you're not using it and you press on it and you feel nothing, and then when you're using it and you touch it, it's crazy. So you can change the different speeds down here to a medium click or a firm click or a light click um, because it's all it's all touch-based now. You can also change the track speed, uh, tracking speed to how fast it will 
um, move with your finger, the cursor, that is. Um, I believe also if you, if you force press down, uh, force click and haptic feedback, so I have that turned on, you can also turn on silent clicking. So you won't hear a, too much of an audio clicking sound. Um, you can also do a secondary click. You can change the, the settings with that. Basically everything. So absolutely cool. Super excited. You, you haven't lost any gestures. And the trackpad feels really, really awesome. It's nice and smooth like glass top. And having the ability to press down and get that haptic feedback. Now I'm going to show you a couple of things you can do with the force touch. Okay, so I wanted to show you real quick when you're working on a web page or when you're working in some kind of documents, um, what force touch can actually do. So here we're at the itsappletime.com website, and I just wanted to show you if you find a word, like let's say, let's look at the word um, basics. So if I press down hard using force touch on this new trackpad, it will actually give me the dictionary, um, or I can go to Wikipedia, It'll so it'll give me some really interesting um, options here. That was just by force touching down. All right, let's try one more time. Let's try on iPhone, force touch down, and it gives me the dictionary stuff for iPhone. Also, it's really cool that if you um, force touch on a, on a date, you can add it to calendar. So let's just use the word today. If I press down on that hard, it'll actually allow me to create a new event and I can add it to whichever calendar I would like to add it to, which I think is pretty, it's pretty handy. I think it's pretty handy. So another cool feature with Force Touch, you can force click on a link to preview a website, an image, or PDF. Um, you can also um, invoke markup or my iMessages uh, conversation so you can see details. So here on the website, let me just show you. If I look at our eShop and I pick uh, Apple products and accessories, and I press and I force touch down, it'll give me a preview of the webs uh, of that particular web page. So I can scroll through and look at some of the products here that we sell. Um, I can even go and have a preview of the home page, believe it or not. So it gives you um, some more control over what you can do. All right, another really cool feature is when you're actually in a folder. I can look at some of the pictures I have or some of the documents and get a sneak peek as to what's in it by um, hovering over an icon or in this case a picture and if I force touch and press hard, it'll actually bring up preview. So I can preview um, the picture I was looking at. Okay, so the bottom line is I really like the force touch. I really like the features of this Magic Trackpad 2. Um, the only problem I have with it was the hefty price tag. At $130, it's not a toy. It's definitely a high-quality, expensive input device. So that's something to consider if you're going to be getting something like this or not. All in all, though, I would say if you're using Apple, if you're using a Mac or um, an iMac, I definitely recommend it. I really like it. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If the new Magic Trackpad 2 is something you're interested in, I will have a link in the description. It costs about $130, and this particular link is an Amazon affiliate link. That means there's no extra cost to you, but you'll help support us here at the studio so I can continue to make great videos. Also, if you want to get some more awesome Apple product help or just love to hear about Apple stuff, head over to It's Apple Time. Dot com where you can check out our podcast, Apple the Apple Time Podcast. So thank you so much, and I'll see you next time for another great video.